In this video, we'll be taking a look at two WNBA games happening on September 4th, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two WNBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Toronto Blue Jays vs. Pittsburgh Pirates The Toronto Blue Jays and the Pittsburgh Pirates will finish their three-game interleague series on Sunday afternoon in the Peacock exclusive game. Toronto will send right-hander Ross Stripling to the bump as he is coming off a loss against the Los Angeles Angels where he went six innings and allowed three runs on seven hits with no walks and six strikeouts. Pittsburgh will counter with righty J.T. Brubaker as he lost to the Atlanta Braves last time out by throwing 6.2 innings and giving up six runs on nine hits with a walk and eight Eight strikeouts. The Jays are 6-2 in their last eight interleague games and the over is 9-3-1 in their last 13 interleague games. The over is 17-6 in Toronto's last 23 in Game 3 of a series. Meanwhile, the Pirates are 16-35 in their last 51 overall and 73-159 in their last 232 versus a team with a winning record. Pittsburgh is 19-50 in their last 69 in Game 3 of a series. The Toronto Blue Jays are trying to secure their spot in the postseason while the Pittsburgh Pirates are trying to play spoiler and gain some experience for the future. Looking at the previous seven starts for both pitchers, there is a bit of a split as Ross Stripling is 2-1 with a 2.33 earned run average and a 0.93 WHIP while JT Brubaker is 1-3 with a 4.5 earned run average and a 1.35 WHIP in that stretch. Even offensively in their previous six games has shown the difference as Toronto is scoring 4.33 runs per game while Pittsburgh is averaging 2.67 runs per game. Stripling has been pitching pretty well lately, even though he took a loss his last time up. Over his last trio, Stripling has 18.1 innings with 4 earned on 14 hits and 1 walk. As for Brubaker, he's coming off 6 earned in 6.2 innings versus the Braves but he was pitching pretty well before that. Should be a fun starter matchup if both guys are on point. The Blue Jays have won 4 of the last 5 games against the Pirates. The Blue Jays should be able to take care of business in this one. So the Toronto Blue Jays to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Blue Jays will score plenty of runs in this one. They have collected at least four runs in five consecutive games, and this should be their best game of the series against Brubaker. They have been especially productive on the road, accumulating 26 runs in their last five road bouts. In addition, the Pirates should contribute to this total. The offense has played at least four runs in four out of their last eight games, and Stripling isn't quite as effective on the road. The Jays also had to use six different relief pitchers on Saturday, and the bullpen could be taxed. Plus, the over is also not to 3-1 to one in the Blue Jays' last 13 interleague games. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Oakland Athletics vs. Baltimore Orioles A pair of American League teams from opposite coasts finish up a weekend series on the Diamond in Charm City. The Oakland A's are on the road as they conclude a three-game series with the Baltimore Orioles Sunday afternoon. In the opening game of the series Friday night, it was the Orioles picking up a 5-2 victory to draw first blood in the series. Which team manages to come up victorious here in the series finale to leave town on a positive note? Baltimore is going for the sweep after beating Oakland 8-1 on Saturday. The Athletics are 1-4 in their last 5 road games and 8-18 in their last 26 overall. The Orioles are 21-7 in their last 28 home games and 35-17 in their last 52 overall. The under is 5-2 in Athletics' last 7 overall. The under is 16-5 in Orioles' last 21 overall. The Athletics are 5-2 in the last 7 meetings in Baltimore. It feels like the Baltimore Orioles believe more in their roster than the Oakland Athletics do and the young talent for Baltimore has definitely clicked. Looking at the pitching staff over the course of the previous 30 days, Baltimore is 8th in the sport with a 3.29 team earned run average while Oakland is 24th in the bigs with a 4.67 team earned run average during that span. Slugging the ball is critical to a team's offense and in the last week, the Athletics have a .369 team slugging percentage while the Orioles have a .420 slugging percentage in that span. The Oakland Athletics are going nowhere fast with an offense that can't score and it's not like Adrian Martinez has pitched well this 
the season. The Baltimore Orioles continue to pile up the victories as they close in on a playoff spot, and it really doesn't matter who pitches for them. The O's are hot offensively and remain easily the most profitable team in the sport. The Orioles have the better lineup and that works in their favor, so the Baltimore Orioles' money line is our full game side pick. Oakland has seen the under post a 70-55-8 record on the season going into Saturday. The A's are 29th in runs per game with 3.39 per contest. That number does manage to climb somewhat to 3.91 runs per game on the road this season. Oakland's average total this season is 7.95 runs per game and that climbs to 8.37 runs per contest as the visiting team. Baltimore has seen the under post a 69-56-6 mark on the season entering Saturday's action. The Orioles are 19th with an average of 4.21 runs per game. That number increases slightly to an average of 4.39 runs per game at home on the season. Baltimore sees an average total of 8.26 runs per game this year, a number that slumps to 8.24 runs a game at home. Oakland entered Saturday having seen the under hit in six of their previous nine games while Baltimore had posted nine straight on dares. Neither offense has been doing that good in the last few weeks as the A's are scoring 3.36 runs per game in their last 14 games while the O's are averaging 3.62 runs per game in their previous 13 games played. The BIP plays a huge factor in being able to produce runs and in the previous 30 days, Oakland is 26 during that span with a .272 team via BIP while Baltimore is 21st with a .285 via BIP. The under has hit in four of their previous five meetings. The A's have struggled offensively all season long while the O's have gotten solid pitching of late. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Texas Rangers vs. Boston Red Sox Dane Dunning will take the mound for the Texas Rangers against Cutter Crawford and the Boston Red Sox in a duel between two disappointing teams on Sunday at Fenway. Both teams came into the season with high payrolls and playoff expectations, but neither has lived up to their billing this year. The Red Sox are 4-0 in their last four overall and are 4-0 in their last four when their opponent allows five runs or more in their previous game. The Red Sox are also 4-0 in their last four games on grass. The Red Rangers are 16-35 in their last 51 versus American League East and are 32-71 in their last 103 road games versus a right-handed starter. The Rangers are also 19-43 in their last 62 during Game 4 of a series. Both Texas and Boston have been inconsistent this year, and neither team is playing well right now. Still, Boston hammered Dunning last time they saw him, and the Texas pitcher isn't in good form right now. Crawford has struggled over his last four starts, but he will be at home here. He should get solid run support as well. Pitching at Fenway isn't easy, and Crawford obviously has more experience pitching in this park, which has allowed the second most runs this season behind only Coors Field and just ahead of the Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Neither starting pitcher has looked good of late, but with what we saw in the first two games of the set, Boston has found ways to make things happen at the plate, and they should complete the sweep as the Rangers are struggling. So the Boston Red Sox money line is our full game side pick. Texas has seen the over post a 66-59-6 record in 131 games on the year entering Saturday's action. The Rangers are ninth in runs per game with 4.53 runs per contest and that climbs to 4.85 runs per game on the road on the year. Texas has an average total of 9.1 runs per game and that number remains flat at 9.1 runs per game on the road. Boston went into Saturday having seen the over post a 62-61-10 mark in their opening 133 games on the year. The Red Sox are 8th in runs per game with 4.56, which climbs slightly to an average of 4.67 runs per game as the home team. Boston's average total this season is 9.46 runs per game going into Saturday's action, while that number climbs to 9.86 runs per game as the home team. The first two games of the series saw the teams combined for 17 and 10 runs respectively. The Rangers have been an above-average offense this season despite their disappointing year, and Crawford continues to be inconsistent. Boston also hammered Dunning earlier this year, and the Texas pitcher hasn't gotten out of the fifth inning in any of his last three starts. Fenway is obviously a hitter's park, and neither starting pitcher is in strong form right now. While both of these teams have had disappointing season, these offenses still have plenty of offense. With both starting pitchers getting roughed up, look for this game to wind up over the number. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video.
whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.